Whoa, how's it going? You found me, I'm Waldo. Surprise. We've been making videos for a long time now and I was thinking, you know what? It would really be cool to try out a whole new format. Obviously 360 videos have become very popular over the last year or two, but a lot of people have been having trouble wrapping their heads around just what it is to have a 360 video. We decided to kick it off with one super cool idea. Where's Waldo in 360. So it was a perfect excuse to do a 360 video because it actually encourages you to look around. You're trying to find Waldo, right? We of course looked at all the 360 cameras that you can buy out there from various different companies. Uh, they're all great. However, they all seem to kind of top out at like 1080p and we wanted to be able to do like 4K, right? Because you need that extra resolution to really hone in and see where Waldo is. So we ended up deciding, well, we've got a bunch of GoPros. Let's 3D print a rig and do some experiments. So we did. So the rig we ended up coming up with is five GoPros all pointed in different directions on a 3D printed rig. So that gives us a huge amount of resolution all around the board. Everybody knows Waldo. When we were out shooting, every single person was pointing at Ren and saying, I found you. What was even freakier for people was seeing a whole group of Waldo lookalikes walking around with him. That was very reassuring when we were filming this video because the fact that you know people are pointing us out and knowing what we're doing is perfect. We went to the Santa Monica Pier and the Santa Monica area in general to film this on a Sunday afternoon when people were just packed there. In the Where's Waldo universe, you need to have a lot of people. You need to have objects for people to look at while they're watching the 360 video. So it was very important that we had enough people on each day that could cause basically distractions. We had a Mario, we had a guy in a pizza costume. When shooting with these 360 rigs, and specifically ours, we had no way to actually look at the footage. How would we know how far away Waldo should or shouldn't be? How would we know if he's even close enough to be seen in the camera? We ended up developing a funny trick. I call it the rule of finger. We put the camera down, Ren would go, to a hiding spot, I'd stand at the rig and hold my finger up, and if he was about the size of my finger from the camera's perspective, then that way we knew he would be close enough to the camera to be seen. So one of the challenges we face with this video is you still have to direct the viewer's eye just a little bit. There's two strategies that we employed. First off, right below the video is where the stand is. We can put instructions there like, where's Waldo? Where's the magician? Where's the wizard? As they're scanning around, they're catching all these little things. So everywhere you look, there's something cool going on, not just in wherever Waldo is hiding. But after doing the first test, I realized that we need to kind of give the viewers something to follow. In one of the takes, Sam and I were walking, orbiting basically, the 360 degree camera rig. And so we kind of gave a little bit of a tour through the shot, so to speak. An action would happen, some event would happen, we'd run after another character. Then eventually at the end of the shot, we see Waldo and we run after Waldo. So it's kind of like providing the solution to the puzzle at the very end. So now that you actually have the footage from your different GoPros, it's time to stitch them together. And so we looked at a few different video stitching softwares out there and we ended up settling with Auto Panel Pro from the company Color. They were bought out by GoPro at some point. So they actually work really nicely with GoPro footage. And the whole process is actually pretty simple and straightforward. You just kind of load your footage, hit stitch. So we had all the GoPros hooked up to one of those GoPro remotes. However, they don't all record at exactly the same time. And that's where a lot of like the video stitching errors kind of comes from, is if you have two GoPros slightly off in time, so it causes like what looks like a stitching error, whereas in reality the stitching is just fine, it's the time offset that's killing you. So what I've found to be the best way to synchronize this stuff is literally just to pick up the entire rig and spin it, just like back and forth. And the software actually takes that motion, analyzes it, and then times up all the different clips together just by looking at that motion of the cameras. You first synchronize all the footage, then you stitch all the footage. And honestly, auto pano, video stitch, they all did that automatically very fast. So how do you put visual effects into a 360 video? Well, first you gotta put it onto something and generally what you're putting it onto is something called an equirectangular map. If the best example of this is imagine you have a globe of the earth and then you have a map of the earth and that map of the earth you're looking at is called an equirectangular map. Basically, it's taking this sphere and unwrapping it out. So what Skybox Studio allows us to do is project images onto these equirectangular maps, but also redistort it so it fits perfectly into that spherical image that you're seeing on the screen. It's basically a way to make things distorted properly. Yeah. So shooting this video was a really cool experience. Um, it's always fun messing around with new camera technologies and kind of experimenting with you know the ways people can view content. I'd love to hear how it worked for you guys. If you managed to find Waldo, if you thought it was interesting, if you had any technical issues. And we're hoping to do a lot more 360 content in the future just because it's a fun new format. We're gonna continue trying to make cool 360 videos the rest of the year. No, oh, no, no, it? there's one, no, no, you <laughs> tricked me. This, is, I, I hate you because this is so smart. There's a Mario and a Toad just randomly in there too. Oh, you're getting married? <laughs> there's so much happening here. This is a very yeah. interesting thing because when you do make 
something where the video is everything around you, you have to figure out how to fill the void.